The Secretary, let me take this discussion in a little different direction. Very often when we talk about the economy, we talk about the economy in a general sense, but the American people are not a general. They are real human beings who have real concerns. What is your judgment on the fact that the United States has the most unequal distribution of wealth and income of any major country on earth? That we have, to our shame, by far the highest rate of childhood poverty of any industrialized nation, depending on the studies that you look at, between 18 and 20 percent. Should we be proud as Americans? We hear people telling us how wonderful this economy is doing. Mr. Secretary, how wonderful is the economy doing when we have by far the highest rate of childhood poverty in the, industrials, the industrialized world with some 20 percent of our children living in poverty? Can you tell me how that reflects on our economy? Uh, Senator, the, for, first of all, in terms of your, your numbers, uh, I had looked a, a, a good bit at income distribution, and what, what I had seen was a trend that I saw in, in most parts of the world that's been going on for 30 years. And in, in, in some countries, uh, it was more pernicious, you know, that, and so it, it, when, when you look at what I saw going on in Mexico, but we're not Mexico, sir. China, but I China. We're not China. Let me. I don't have a whole lot of time, and I know the, the chairman will use his gavel. But let me ask. Let me answer your your question. In the United States, the wealthiest one percent own more wealth than the bottom ninety percent. The gap between the rich and the poor is growing wide, and we have the highest rate of child poverty. Forget China. Right. In the industrialized world, what do you think about that? Well, I, I would I would say this. I, I would say that what is going on right now is 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 something that's happening. Uh, all over the world has been happening here for 30 years. But to say what, what I think about it, what I think about it is we, we're, we're doing a lot and we got, need to continue to do a lot. And uh, What are we doing? Let me, at, uh, at the, sir, I don't have a lot of time. At the I, middle of the bottom, okay, I'll tell you. Let, what. Me tell you well, let me ask you a question, right. and please give me the answer. I don't have an endless amount of time. When we talk about childhood poverty, one of the issues related to that is the disastrous situation with regard to child care and Head Start in this country. We underfund Head Start. Huge numbers of families can't get it. The budget that the President has just presented us uh, would cut between, by uh, 300,000, between 2006 and 2010, uh, millions of children from getting childcare. Do you think that that is an effective way of dealing with childhood poverty? Well, I would say, to, to get back to your question of what are we doing about it, I'll answer that very, very directly. What you've seen yeah, you know, under, under this president, as you've seen, five million taxpayers taken off the uh, federal income tax roll. So five million pe additional people don't pay taxes. But what else have we seen? No, you use the number five million. And Let me. You've seen, and you've seen taxes. Sir, well, okay. Unless the chairman wants to give me some additional time. Okay. But we have also seen, more importantly, since President Bush has been in office, five million more Americans slipping into poverty. Can you tell me, is that a good thing? Five million more Americans are poor today than before President Bush took office. Yeah. I, I, would, I would say to, to you, Senator, I have focused a lot on income distribution. It's something I'm, 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 I'm very focused on. Uh, I, I think the number one thing we can do for all Americans, rich or poor, and particularly for people at the low end and the middle end, is keep an economy growing keep creating new jobs, uh, they will all do better. But, sir, that is not the record. Since President Bush has been in office, almost all of the new income created has gone to the very wealthiest people, and five million more Americans have slipped into poverty. What? Millions of people have lost good-paying jobs and are working jobs for lower wages. How is that good news? Well, well I, I would say to you that I, I don't agree with the numbers. What we, you don't agree that five million Americans have slipped well, into poverty? I, I, I don't. I haven't heard that number. And I would just tell you, when you say, talk about the millions of Americans that are losing good jobs, I'll say there's good jobs being created all the time. And that the thing I look at most carefully is what is happening to the average worker. And I'm very pleased that over the last year, we've 
we've seen real increases in wages. And in the last year? In the last year. And That's I think, good, but President Bush has been in office for six years. I, I would say that what, he, what we've seen in other, in other recoveries, and it was very similar in the 90s, if you can keep productivity high, keep creating new, new jobs, that productivity will, will find its way into real uh, wage increases, and, and we're making progress. See, I think, sir, you have a tough sell. What you're trying to do is convince the middle class and working class of this country that things are going well, they're not buying it. Because they know that they can't afford increasingly health care, and since President Bush has been in office, six million Americans have lost their health insurance. They know that more and more people are becoming poor. We see some young people here, middle class families know that they are finding it increasingly difficult, increasingly difficult to send their kids to college. We have lost three million good paying manufacturing jobs. And while in fact we have seen a recent, in recent years a growth in new jobs, many of those jobs are paying lower wages and lower benefits than the jobs in fact that we are losing. People are seeing folks on Wall Street ending up with $50 million bonuses while they are losing their pensions. They're losing their health care when they're retired, the health care benefits that they were promised. So what you are seeing is a nation in which the people on top are doing very, very well. Middle class, in fact, is shrinking, not because of President Bush. This is a long-term trend. But right now, a two-income family has less disposable income than a one-income family did 30 years ago. I'm not blaming this all on President Bush. It has a lot to do with trade policy. It has a lot to do with the lack of unionization in this country. We'll continue this discussion another time. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, sir. I, actually, I thank you for your comments. I, I would like to talk with you some more, Love particularly to. about trade policy. Love to do it. And go, okay. Senator DeMinijan. Yes, thank you. First, let me say uh, to you, uh, Secretary Paulson,